everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a great week. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the other side of the coin that I haven't shown as much on this channel. And that's the fact that sometimes you're just gonna be in your office working away. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, not a lot of uh, showings happening today. We've done a lot over the last little while. We got to see some really cool, awesome properties. Um, if you guys have been watching my Instagram, I've been hosting some open houses on some very beautiful units. Uh, we've got some luxury units out in Abbotsford available. You guys saw that on my last video. Hosted a beautiful, beautiful uh, unit out in Burnaby that uh, was part of the private collection of this new building that just just completed actually. So I got to host that one open. Uh, we've got a luxury building in Maple Ridge. You can check that out over on my Instagram as well. So lots of really cool units available. But of course, I'm also working on the investor side as normal. There's lots of amazing opportunities out there from the investment standpoint. And if you're willing to go out and really look, you can lock down some great properties right now. The cash flow is coming back in a big way. In fact, we talked about it a little bit at our last event that we hosted, and it's the top six investment strategies for 2019. So I thought maybe on today's video, since I'm not going out doing showings, I'm not uh, I'm more in the office today, it gives me a chance to get to connect with you guys again, do a little talking head action here, and let you guys know what the top six investment strategies are for the Lower Mainland for 2019 are. All right, so here was the presentation that we did uh, last month, this was for our investors performance group. If you haven't been to the investor perf if you haven't been to the investors performance group, I highly suggest you take a look at it. But here we talked about the top six investment strategies for 2019. So those top six strategies are buy rent and hold, buy reno refi and hold, doing multifamily investing, buying assignment of contract. Lots of opportunity here. Airbnb, and lastly, private loans or equity deals. All right, so why do we pick these six strategies as your top for 2019? Well, the reason is very simple. The market has changed. We were suggesting a lot of flips before because flipping was making a lot of people a lot of money fast, but the market changes. So you need to adjust as an investor the strategies that you're going with. Now, it's very important you don't put yourself into one hole. You don't say, I'm just doing one thing. You gotta be able to flex your strategy. So these top six give you an opportunity to switch up what you're doing and uh, maybe make money elsewhere. Add some passive income to your portfolio. Maybe you've got some other active income. Gives you the opportunity to be an investor and not just one type of investment. All right, so let's talk about the six. So the first one, buy, rent, and hold. The reason why we like buy, rent, and hold right now is because, well, it's, it's, it's a classic. I mean, at the end of the day, you're buying a property, you're locking it down, you're putting a tenant in, and as the tenant pays that rent, you're gonna keep earning that cash flow that's gonna keep your property going. The reason why we like it right now is a couple of reasons. One, in the market, values have either plateaued in certain areas or they're coming down. So as property values are coming down, that's creating an opportunity for us to go in and buy properties not as expensive as they were a year ago. So that's reason number one. But reason number two is that vacancy is still very, very low. So when vacancy is low, it's gonna put upward pressure on the rents. So as prices come down and rents continue to go up, you're gonna see that cash flow start to increase that you could be earning on properties. And in fact, a lot of areas that weren't such a good investment at one point because they were getting too expensive are suddenly coming back into the realm of uh, being able to use as an investment. Mission, for an example, we used to sell a lot in Mission in you know, 2013, 14, and 15, and then suddenly 16, 17, and into 18, it was harder and harder to make things cash flow. Now we're seeing good cash flowing properties coming back to mission. So definitely look at doing buy, rent, and hold as one of your investment strategies. Okay, strategy number two is to buy, fix, and flip, or flip it to yourself. So the reason why we wanna do this strategy is one, two reasons. There's lots of great properties that are still very undervalued and need a lot of renovations. So there's still possibilities for the flip but part of that strategy needs to be plan B, and that's actually to be able to put a tenant in there later, refinance it, flip it to yourself, and keep it as a rental. Then it goes back to the same thing we talked about where rents are on the rise, you can get good cash flow. Hey, just quickly before we go on to the uh, strategy number three and everything like that, have you guys had a chance to check out the podcast? We've really ramped things up in 2019. I wanted to give a plug to the Manning Up on Real Estate podcast. I mean, I've even invested in a bunch of new equipment here. So we're definitely taking things to the next level by doing a lot of interviews. We've got our first interview up already on the channel. So make sure you go and check that out. And on Tuesday next week, so if you're seeing this on Thursday here, next week we've got our new one with Carlos Gill. So first one was Kelly Fry, our team leader. She really dives in deep 
deep on how she grew into the the entrepreneur she is so make sure you go and check that out and then next we're going to be having carlos gill my digital mentor who's been helping me out you know with this youtube channel and everything like that he's going to be on the podcast next week so go check it out manning up on real estate it's on spotify apple everything like that again investing in new equipment so we can really ramp it up so we can bring you a lot more you know detailed interviews and things like that manning up on real estate podcast wherever you listen to your podcast so the strategy number three is buying multi-family residential commercial properties so what do i mean by that anything that's over five units is considered multi-family residential commercial a couple of reasons why i like this for 2019 one we talked about it earlier rents are on the rise so in multifamily, the more you can increase the income that a property is creating the more value you're creating to the building through the multiplier effect now, i'm not going to go into too much detail this is something that you should definitely do some google search maybe i'll do a video on the multiplier effect later but there's definitely an opportunity there to increase value exponentially on a multifamily building okay strategy number four strategy number four is all about buying assignment of contracts the reason why i like assignments right now is because there's a huge opportunity to make money on the buy if you ever heard that term if you're an investor making your money on the buy this is right now the opportunity with assignments so what's happened was there are many people who went and bought pre-sale properties so properties that are you know condos that are you know the buildings they need to sell so many units before they can start the construction the construction is going to take about a year year and a half two years sometimes up to five years if it's a big tower and so they bought it at the price where it was now. A lot of those people have gained significant amount of money to what the current market value is. However, because the market has changed and they, for whatever reason, need to get out of the property. I actually wrote an article on Medium, so you can check it out on this. They are lowering those prices significantly. So the brand new buildings where the developers are in pre-sale are listing them here and the assignments are now down here. They probably bought them down here but there's a spread now so you can make anywhere from 5 10 30 40 in some cases up to 60 or 70 thousand dollars on the buy by buying an assignment off of another investor okay strategy number five strategy number five is all about airbnb or vacation rentals that's right airbnb you know this is becoming a very popular option in fact did you know that airbnb is one of the largest like you know hotel or like short-term rental providers with absolutely no inventory it's because you're providing the inventory if you decide to use airbnb this is a huge opportunity in the market right now because this is uh as the market continues to change if you've got underperforming assets look into changing it up to airbnb Kelly Fry on our own team, I keep going back to Kelly Fry, but she's actually been testing out this model in one of her basement suites, and she's earning on average about an extra five to 600 bucks a month using Airbnb than if she was just straight up renting it out. Now, the other thing I talked about was vacation rentals. There are certain areas around locally, and I'm sure it's in your markets as well, but if you're looking in the demographic of the lower mainland, there is a ski hill right now that's going through a massive change that not a lot of people know about. But if you were to lock in, you're, you can get condos right now for like $200,000. Whereas if you're looking in Whistler, those condos are gonna be six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars depending on where you're buying and how close to the village you are. These ones are right next to the chairlift. So what it's what it's allowing you to do is buy these properties, sink a little bit of money in to, to renovate them, throw them on Airbnb or VRBO and start getting rentals in there on a regular rate. And you're gonna generate some amazing cash flow, especially as this area continues to invest a billion dollars, billion dollars into the renovation and recreation of the ski hill so that it can open up year round. That's the key here. Right now, these properties will actually make you enough money to cover all expenses and put money in your pocket with being open only five months. But can you imagine the potential if it was open year round? So if you have any questions on Airbnb or vacation rentals and where you should be looking, you know who to give a call to. All right, and the last strategy I'm gonna talk about, so number six for 2019, is getting into private loans or equity deals. So there's a really good opportunity, I think, that if you wanna start doing loans versus just buying properties, you got maybe like an extra 20 grand sitting around, it's not enough for a down payment, get that money working for you. Maybe you've got a line of credit sitting on another property that you own that's got maybe, you know, 50, 60, 70,000. Take that money, and there's lots of people looking for short-term, high-interest loans right now out there in the market. In fact, I recently just started investing in this with one of my partners myself. We did our first hard money loan 
just last week actually. So we're pretty excited about it. What the opportunity here for you is, again, you've got this money sitting here doing nothing, get it to work for you. And you're gonna earn interest that's much, much higher than if it's sitting in the bank. All right guys, so that is it. That's what we talked about last month at our investors performance group meeting. I just wanted to jump on here quickly, let you guys know about those strategies in case you guys are thinking about getting into the market and doing some investing, knowing that it's a different market than it was a year ago. There's still lots and lots of opportunity, guys. So go out, take advantage of it. Think about these six strategies. Now, these aren't the be all end all. It's just these are the top six strategies that we find that probably is the best way to take advantage of the current market. Um, as well, I just wanted to give a shout out or not a shout out, but a mention to the Investors Performance Group. If you guys are interested in coming out, you're in the lower mainland and you want to learn more from me and my team, then come out to the Investors Performance Group. You will not be disappointed. One come hungry. We put full spread on for you guys. It's awesome. We do serve some wine. We have some fun with it. There's some networking. We get a lot of people who do deals together. But two, one of the real advantages here is that we bring out speakers that are going to blow your mind with the different strategies that they're doing. So I highly recommend February 21st, put it in your calendar. That's when our next investors performance group is. That's it for me, guys. Again, really quick little video here just in the office. Uh, we're not going out. I don't have any showings today. It's really... I negotiating two deals today right now while we're doing this. But uh, again, in the office, if you like this video though, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you continue to get awesome advice like this on a regular basis. And it does help grow this channel so I can continue to provide to you guys a lot more content. And two, if you have any comments or if you have any questions going into 2019, I am here to help you guys. So drop them below and we'll see you next time.